Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Prey. We're at the power plant right now and I feel like this is starting to near its end. Because of course the power plant would be the logical place, especially the reactor control room, the place to blow the station up. But I feel like the more that I think about it and the more I review, of course, the uh, footage that I've made, the episodes, the previous episodes, I feel like there might be another way because January keeps pushing us to well it's good that you save those people but you're gonna kill them anyway so blah 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 I feel like there should be a way of getting all these people off the station including myself before we actually get a, a, a well blow the station up because otherwise what is this all for why would you be able to help the people and not save them in the end that would be a bit weird but if you remember from previously pre the, in the last episode oh more bullets more bullets the last episode we uh couldn't actually go further because we're missing the key card she was talking about somebody's corpse and that she should have it so michaela on the other side of the door there uh she was talking about somebody else having the key code so i am going to go up here and see what else is here because we couldn't really go in here because the electricity keeps fucking everything up so i should somehow find a way to go through here um what was that what was that i don't know why the music keeps freaking out but it's nothing it's nothing there's still a telepod in that other room but I mean, there's still no way of getting back outside. So the corpse is probably in here. There's another door to this area, so that might be the key. Although I don't know how to open it. But the moment I enter, I'm gonna get zapped. So a little quick save, a little cheeky quick save. And then just run in over here. There we go. And from here, I took the hit, and now we can repair this. I hear stuff walking around and trying to get to me, but at least that's the first part of this area done. I need up everything in my inventory now. There's a lot of stuff electrified here because the place is flooded. But the electricity is probably originating from somewhere question is where exactly I could use objects probably to traverse this a bit like uh, the floor is lava kind of stuff engineering control system there's a metaphor here you know typically the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output the difference between the actual and the desired outputs is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference good control systems and good engineers learn from the past that's a bit well general information but there is another transcript here from emmanuel mendez matthew i have a uh hypothetical question for you come on manny just be up front with me i've seen you checking out my caboose in these trans star uniforms if you want to ask me out just no i do not this is serious no serious and hypothetical well shit i'm listening now let's say you discovered something incredibly treacherous Life-threatening, something everyone ought to know about. I don't know, send an email, call security. But, but, you needed to do it anonymously. Oh shit, Annie, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Not yet. Okay, well, uh, as long as we're talking hypothetical, I guess I'd EVA my ass out to that orbiting billboard and flash it as big as Vegas on the screen. Not a bad idea. Thank you, Matthew. And for the record, your bottom looks frumpy. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I kind of made a pot while, while we were listening to that. Uh, let's check out the emails. Aha, uh -huh, there we go, that's interesting. The escape bolts. Emanuela, I'm not supposed to tell anyone about this, but I wanted you to know since you're someone I really care about. The escape bolts don't work. If there's ever an emergency on the station, don't try to use them. However, I'm working on rigging one of them to work. Shuttle Bay Engineering. Emmanuel. It looks like I sent an email to you by accident. Just ignore it, please. Also, that I wrote in the email was just a joke. I was pranking someone. So he wanted to send it to Emanuela, but he sent it to Emmanuel. 
which is a, a, a logical mistake there. Shit, Connolly, I think Duncan's really pissed this time. Did you have to humili humiliate him like that? His operator has already was already as good as done. If the if he takes this to Brooks, we could all end up in the can. Can't you two just kiss and make up? Uh, with Krasikov? Come on, Manny, you know I only have eyes for you. Besides, there's no way Krasikov's blowing the whistle on battle ops. He helped start it too, remember? He'd go down with the rest of us. I think he's more of a petty revenge kind of a guy anyway. Give him a week, I bet he gets over it. Connolly. Okay. So, I'm gonna quick save again. Because I feel like I can take some serious damage in this. Oh, God. Okay. Ah, okay, they died. <laughs> well, that was stupid of them. What objects were they? That they actually survived as long as they did. That was a bit weird. Can't pick up any anything here now. But I did make a, a nice pot from a distance there. Oh god. That's bad. That's bad because I'm, if I'm lifted in the water... Where is he? Where is he? That's a cystoid nest. Okay, so that... Where's the poltergeist? He's still here somewhere. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. That was annoying. But a very great set piece there. Just putting the poltergeist in this area. That's just uh, a really big F you. But would this allow us to do anything else here? So we have Duncan Krasikov himself here. But the transcript may be showing us the other side of that conversation from before. Duncan, access code to part storage changed last shift. We had a short, so security came up and reset. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, maybe it's not my place, but... What? Spit it out. Well, it's just that there was a minor leak, and uh, I, I told Connolly we should wait for new parts, but... Uh... Duncan, I don't give a shit about your pissing contest with Connolly. Take it to Brooks. Code's embedded in this message. Okay, so we did get the code for the parts, uh, well, storage area, which is nice, I'm assuming. I don't know where that is exactly, but we'll probably get to it. We'll probably get to it. But four emails. Matthew Connolly's is right here. So why was Krasikov near Matthew's desk? That's a bit weird. But shipment ready. Connolly, I got your case of operator parts ready to go. I put all the spare junk I could scrounge out of the machine shop in there. It's in the usual spot. Just remember our deal. I get 40% cut on any prize money your operator, did you just seriously call it, soft shell pulls in. I also threw in that glue gun you asked for yesterday. I, I found that soft, soft shell actually before I started recording in the area on the other side of the, the power plant here. Um, so that's weird. What was that all about? Okay, three things. It was a 35% cut and you know it. Softshell is a magnificent name and thanks. Screw that. I would have asked for 75 if I knew you were going to name it something so stupid. And then... Su2 test. Hey Maddie, how localized is the gravity generation? Is there any chance my private quarters could go without it from say 1800 to 20, 1200 hours tonight? Uh, shit. No? Oh, come on, Matty, just for a little bit. So, zero gravity in his room. That would be weird. Hey, Matty, I'm having some issues with my transcript. I think I dropped it or something. I know you have the hookup with the guys in engineering. I think you could help me get it fixed. I'd rather think you could help me get it fixed. I'd rather not run this kind of thing by Danielle. No response means yes, right? <laughs> so, Matty was clearly being harassed by his co-workers. Hey Maddie, Dome Taker 3, pilgrimage to the Autarchy of the Domed, arrived with my last care package, all the caves are procedurally generated and there's even multiplayer. I know you want a copy. Uh, you're gonna brick your transcript playing that crap again? Nah. Okay. So he was a tech guy and they were kinda trying to get him to, getting him to do stuff for everybody. Suspicious chair. Um, but... Is there a way of turning down the electricity in this area? Aha, there's a terminal over there. Stuff some more food in my mouth and I actually have two weapon upgrade kits so I can upgrade the disruptive stun gun to the max which is a quarter of a second for it to be charged. There we go. 
Gold dead hands, and we get our uh, upgrade trophy. So that's nice. There we go. And then the password for Duncan Krasikovs. But I can hack it. And there we go. Hacking succeeded. He doesn't have any... So they all worked in the same place, which is interesting. I'm just gonna get a bit closer so I can read it properly. Talia, I'm sure you read the report about Ilyushin's office. I just wanted to let you know that the maintenance request for the office was handled in a less than suitable manner. I'd be happy to go over it in detail. Duncan, I don't know what kind of issues you have with Connolly, but you better get over it quick because I'm getting sick of hearing you bitching about it. Contrary to popular belief, ass kissing will not get you on my good side. I'll speak to Connolly about the maintenance job. And then unauthorized tech, Talia, I'm not really comfortable bringing this up, but I feel like it would be irresponsible not to mention it. I have a reason, I have reason to believe Connolly has been borrowing some of the experimental tech from hardware without authorization. Just thought you should know. Duly noted. Okay, and Connolly, um, well, Krasikov was trying to get Connolly reported. I still don't see the way to turn off the power though. So I don't know how to turn off the power, but I don't think it really matters. I've seen everything there is to see. I thought I heard... That sounds like mimic twitching, but... Okay, never mind. Oh! Where the hell did those guys come from? Because he had a neuro mold. I mean, fine, I guess. But that still doesn't show us where... That woman was... I'll just check the objectives then. Last seen in the coolant chamber. Is the coolant chamber... Oh, so she is supposed to be downstairs. Ah, but now we have the key code for part storage. So that might give us something new. So there's definitely a mimic over there, so... There we go. Oh, there's more where that came from. Turn that off. And there we go. Ow! Okay, thought I killed them all, but uh, there were a lot of them. There those go. I thought I saw... At least one greater. The one I killed here was probably a greater mimic. Because those usually have ammo. So, the glue can and fabrication plan. Good, but basically, well, useless at the moment. Um, what else do we have here? Dead mimics. So at least take the organs out of that. Burn circuit board and two weapon upgrade kits. Uh, that is nice. So I might start upgrading the Q-beam then. Or the glue cannon, actually. Ooh, and a lot of ammo. Don't mind if I do. This is heaven. Heaven this is. And another Neuromold. Yeah, this was basically the jackpot. But other than that, there is no corpse in here. So we still don't know where... The Oh, what the f fuck was that? Great, great noise. So this is soft shell, if you're wondering. It's right here. It actually exists in the world. Did I check this? No. Uh, yes, I did. So, it's not Matthew. So that's Manu Matthew Connolly. So that's a guy that was having issues with uh, Kraskikov of, or what, what his name was. I can move this around. Always need to be careful not to kill myself with stuff like that. Is she? Oh. Yeah, I think I found a corpse. Yeah, there it is. Um, is that? Okay, yep. Oof. That's a horrible way to die. I don't know what she's doing with her hands in the wall, but... Hello, Talia Brooks. Um, let's listen to that. Hey, a little bird told me you plugged a leak in an unconventional manner a few weeks ago. Yeah? Was it an ass-kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. Care to elaborate? Not if I'm going to get my pee-pee slapped. Worse, I'll dunk you in the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. Roger that, boss. So there we have the conclusion to that little uh, Kraskikov and Connolly story. So Talia actually uh, tried to uh, slap him on the wrists, or... 
well, slap it on the PP if I need to use his words, but there we go, we got the key cards for the cooling chamber. Um, yeah, fan phantoms aren't really a problem anymore. Um, I don't know why I'm hiding then, but... I mean, I could just... System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Give me that. Give me that, for fuck's sake. I want to throw something in its face. There we go. Why didn't that work? I don't know why that didn't work. I tossed it in his face, but he didn't react to it. There we go. Two mimics as well. And I got most of my shoulder shells back. And there we go. So I would like a recycling. I'm probably gonna... Whoa, hi. Hi. Jesus. My... My, my heart. I'm gonna heal up first, Michaela. Give me a second. There we go. Let's open up the coolant chamber. I'll check the rest because I see there's an airlock here as well. So, hello, Michaela. I thought I was going to die. <coughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. Where did that thing come from? Was it Tony? The way it was looking at me. I'd get up, <laughs> except for my legs. And my lungs, and my nervous system. Don't look surprised. Paraplexus, remember? You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the lifts. I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor control room. <clears throat> There's a panel for shutting down everything. The whole station. The computer will scream at you, but just do it. Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. It should. It will. Now, go. So, I think Michaela is the one that talked about ignoring her when we were being tested, if I remember correctly from some of the emails. I think Michaela was the friend or maybe even girlfriend of Morgan that she felt betrayed by because Morgan didn't remember her after the countless resets. So three neuromods here. Um, and we need to get her medicine. We need to get her medicine. I do want to save as many people as I as many people I, I can. As many people as I can, so I do want to do that side quest as well. I'm gonna to have to check my inventory for the side quests because there's a, a lot of them and I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Lan Gaian with a, a hackable computer here. I might open that up as well. Just gonna take a look. Give me a second. So there is a med bay here. So oh Jesus. Yup. Thanks for that. Jesus freaking Christ. Oh I just shot a corpse in the face. Well, way too late in the face. So that's another weapon upgrade. I'm gonna. Well, what did he die from? Because it feels like he was just shot in the face. That's what the hell just happened there. Oh, have I not checked that before? There we go. Medical operator. Never researched that apparently. Uh, let's take all of that. But it, this doesn't seem to have her equipment. I can repair the medical operator. Thank you. Would that help? Can you help Michaela? Because she's in trouble. Um, medical operator, please. Help my, my, my friend. She's over. Yeah, go, go over there. She should be. Is that actually going to work? Go in the room. Buddy, buddy. But she's right here. Can you help her? I'm gonna have to check the quest log to see what the details are. Find Michaela's medicine in her office, which is on the exterior. Okay. I don't know, there's like a timer on that quest. I should probably be quick about this. So, here's the deal. I could go into the reactor control room. But I feel like that's a big decision. It's going to change a lot of the area when the power is down. So I might as well just use the airlock here. Get on the outside. And if it's not locked. And I feel like it isn't. 
and doing something fancy here. There we go. Fancy animation. And that's opening that up. But, of course, it's still in security lockdown. You don't remember her, but she remembers you. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos 1. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth. But she made an exception. I'm not sure if that makes you... responsible. Now. She won't last long without her medication. It's up to you if you want to help her. I'm going to January, but that's confirmation about the story we were talking about. It won't work. It's part of your brother's lockdown. The main lift in every exterior airlock. You're stuck until you can do something about it. He's trying to slow you down, Morgan, and putting everyone at risk in the process. Okay, so that means we do need to do this first. Um, so let's... I don't know why I can open this separately with a keycard. That's another door to this chamber, but... For an appointment? Uh, no. Uh, you can help Michaela, though. In the meantime, please, operator. Please. If I ask nicely, will you do that then? Okay. So now we're down here. And that just opens up. I feel like this is going way too easy. The craft lift and stair access over there and maintenance lift over there. But we need to go. Crap, this place is big. I hear twitching. Stair access will give me an opportunity to go slower and maybe collect some things along the way, which is fine by me. So the elevator is down anyway. So the maintenance elevator would have been down as well. So staircase it is. Ooh, we're gonna be here a while. Holy crap. There's a lot of levels to this thing. And I don't wanna miss anything. So this opens up. This is just. Oh, this is an actual physical elevator, not one of the grab lift thingies. There's definitely some Typhon around. I'm guessing there's one in the elevator then? Okay, I'll go back to the staircase because I feel, yeah, it's up there where I came from. So, don't mind if I do. That's a weird position for a corpse. Nicholas Stillwater. Weapon upgrade kit, a new remote, and the reactor access key card. Okay. That is good, I suppose. The elevator clearly crashed down, but I don't know what his position was. So I'm gonna use it all on the incapacitation rate of the glue cannon at first, because that's now double the incapacitation rate. So that's gonna be nice. And maybe upgrade the range a bit further, although I should probably upgrade my biggest gun first. Mm, although the handling and reload speed don't really matter, so glue gun it is. Glue gun it is. So, range using the glue gun. There we go. And then the nine neural mods we have will, well, we basically have all the engineering stuff that I want to have, because the blower three are melee damage, which is not really uh, something I'll use. So, we're going for, hmm, the cropsy would be nice, but, I mean, hacking for... The sooner we have that, the better, I suppose. Especially since we're gonna go across the entire station soon again. To, well, work off all the side quests we've been lying around. Because I do want to do those as well. Because they're really interesting. And they bring us back to areas where I might have missed emails, etc. So I might pick up some other trophies as well. Uh, but this seems to be pretty empty. It's probably the reactor itself, the, the thing here in the middle. But there's no way of entering it from here, so going lower. So, the, well, blinking lights and the light show inside there probably shows us that that is in fact the reactor. Um, what's this? So we can, is that the way to fix the elevator? Aha! There we go. Elevator fix, so now we can easily go up and down without the Ooh. There's a bunch of cystoids over there. And this area is definitely big enough to put down a, um, a nightmare, isn't it? So there's a recycler over there. It is broken, but I can repair it. There we go. And get rid of all my excess stuff. And then the only thing I really need to make is, I think, some more shotgun shells so that we have enough to uh, take out whatever comes our way. 
So let's repair this as well and make some more ammo. So there we go, a bunch of ammo and three more neuromods, which would should allow us to buy the necropsy skill. There we go. That is that. So that allows us to get those uh, fancy tumors out of the ooh, out of the typhoon as well. There's a what am I doing? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a secret way in. How? That doesn't avoid the radiation, of course. There we go. I think they blew up. Okay. So now, what's here? This. Oh, gold. Yeah, okay. Thanks for that, I suppose. It did fill up the radiation symbol, but nothing too spectacular there. So this is a reactor. Oof. Oh. This is, yeah, I was kind of right. <laughs> this is exactly where you put in the keys. Because there's the arming key. There's one of the keys and there's the other key. But how are we going to do this, by the way? Because I'm assuming you need to turn them both at the same time. No, okay, so this is not a secret hiding space for the... Would be weird that they put one of, one of those in the reactor itself, but... So that's definitely the ending of the game. If you want to blow stuff up, it's right over there. If you have both keys, just go ahead and blow it up. Um... But, seems like we, we can actually go in there, but I don't see the use for it. Let's maybe to check what's in here. Oh god. They're definitely giving me radiation, but I don't know what that what's that doing. Because there's, there's pills for it, but I don't know what the use of those pills is. Um, what is here? It's blocked off with a key code. The reactive security cage. I can hack it with a level 3 hack, or I can actually almost get in. Why would you make this hole if you can't fit in the hole? Maybe as, ah, because I think there's, there's mimic uh, abilities. So you could mimic as an object and then go through that hole probably, which is interesting. So with the power, we could have opened that more easily, but I do have hacking skills now. So now I need to do three. Which is plenty of time, plenty of time. There we go, hacking succeeded. I'm getting the hang of that hacking. It's not that hard if you take a look at it. Just gonna set down the turrets over here. I'm assuming most of the enemies would be coming through here. What does fortify actually do? I want to. Okay, I can actually try that out. Ah, it's just. It's just the next... <laughs> it actually thanked me for upgrading it. So now it's fortified and it has a fancy health bar. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me set up those other two turrets as well. And the last one over here. So they're in uh, really cool places there. So four turrets covering the entire area down below here. So if you need to fight... Okay. We're already doing work. So uh, if you need to defend that place, we can do that easily. Okay, so aside from another weapon upgrade kit, there wasn't actually a lot in there. But now it's time we can go into the reactor control room. That sounds fancy. We can open that up with a keycard. Get the shotgun ready. Because there might be Typhon in here. Are they already shooting? Or not? I don't know why the game is doing the sad music, but... Reboot the Talos power plant. Reactor emergency procedures. Okay, let's read that first. Safety control switches for all main utilities must be placed in the off position in the following order before initializing reactor shutdown. Magnetosphere, substation power grid, photovoltaic rings, gravity life support main reactor. I'm gonna have to check that again. Um, access safety switches. Aha. Safety switches, accessible. So I need to do those in order, but let me first get these items. There's a lot of stuff here in the corner, and I feel like it's loading me up for something. <laughs> it's definitely loading me up for something. So, reactor safety, magnetosphere and substation power. Magnetosphere, substation power. 
Then photovoltaic and gravity. Photovoltaic and gravity. And then the last two were life support and main reactive. Life support and main reactive. Um, I'm going to reread that. So safety, control switches for all main utilities must be placed in the off position in the following order before initializing reactor shutdown. I think I did that because it's done. I can't access it anymore. So let me save. There we go. Initiate reboot. And I got the key code for the reactor room. Oh, I can look at it. What the fuck was that? What is going on? Oh yeah, okay, gravity is offline. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was weird. I was going through the floor. Oh, what's happening to the turrets, by the way? Are they floating? No. Ah. Ah. Um. I can't move. Durachok was supposed to check those diverters a week ago. All right, Morgan, you're going to have to fix it yourself. Or find a replacement, if we're that lucky. Okay, I think I have enough fixing power to do something about that. Oh god, this place is dark all of a sudden. Yeah, this is, this is nasty, isn't it? I have my turret, so even if I go down there, but it seems to be inside. Oh, that's not good, is it? I can blow up. I don't care. I can, I can fix it. I can fix it. There we go. And then I can use. Finally, I can use radiation pills. Um, use those. Okay, so you're definitely getting radiation poisoning there. There we go. Didn't I? Oh, I didn't fix it. What What did I do wrong? I think I repaired it, right? Okay, now what? Do we need to put that... Radiation poisoning detected. Do we need to put that in there? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. Yeah, there we go. Outside. Whew. And now we need to get rid of my radiation. So I popped another pill. And there we go. Okay. So that should be it, I suppose. I thought they were going to toss monsters in my direction, but apparently they didn't. Ah, it moved because of the anti-gravity, probably. Okay, resume reboot. All airlocks open! I think my turrets just got EMP'd. Oh. I'm showing power to the lifts and oh the airlocks, God. I'm seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Oh, Jesus Christ, two technopaths. Um. Well, I see. You reset everything. Talos 1 is wide open now. Clever. Reckless. But clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. They're not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come out of my office. There you go, assholes. Jesus Christ. Drinking tea! Suck it, Technopaths! Eat the power of the fully powered stun gun! In your face! Put your... My turrets down, you dickheads! Ooh, Typhon gang Ganglion. Ganglion. That's another Please thing. Clear of yes, yes, I will. I'm, so I'm sorry, little dude. I'm sorry you were broken down. <laughs> Even my fortified turret just got fried in one go. That's not good, is it? Okay, 
So the two Technopods were a surprise, but I'm assuming you could actually leave the area without them as well, without facing them. Um, did I check that corpse? Did I check that corpse? I'm not sure if I checked that corpse. Let me check that corpse. So I didn't really follow the dialogue there because of the Technopods, but uh, I did hear Alex yelling at me again, which is par for the course. There's a glue can- Oh! There was a glue cannon here, but it was a Mimic. He made some noise before, though. So we kind of gave that away. Reactor access. Mimic tumor. So where's the actual glue cannon he copied? That's not playing by the rules, is it? So... That was, again, that twitching noise. Again, that freaking twitching noise. Cooling chamber! There we go. Moving back up, back to Michaela, our friend, who's definitely- Morgan. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines are hydrogen cooled. Now they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. Okay, so we can't fire in the coolant chamber. How are we gonna Hello. fix nice. that? Um, you know what? That's something for another time. I know I want to get her medicine here, but, um, yeah, I've been going for an hour again, so I'm going to keep it at that for this episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Prey. And when we get back, we're going to get Michaela her medicine, so she's, she's fine. We're going to go back outside because we can do that again. Uh, so that's for next time. Thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.